Hey, what's up guys? Matt here. Welcome to this week's episode of Matt Talks. So today, as you can see, I'm talking about 360 video. And I wanted to show off my camera again. I know I've shot a lot of 360 video so far, but I just wanted you to see the whole kind of setup here. So I'm sitting at my, not my desk. It's kind of new, I guess. But, that's okay. I want to do, talk a little bit about 360 video, of course. Um, I shot one short. Uh, as of the recording, I just uploaded it. Um, it's the What's for Lunch short. It's the, another Too Many Mats short. But I'll talk about that in another video. Just about, well, actually, I talked about it in, in, in that video. <laughs> um... But, in my opinion, I'd like to think 360 video may be the future of video. Because what you can do with the 360 video is just amazing to me. How you can have your Google Cardboard after you shoot the video and take it and just look all around and it's crazy. Now... I did watch a couple of my videos in the cardboard, and I got a little bit dizzy, <laughs> which was a little funny, but I, I love 360 video, and I finally figured out how I'm supposed to edit it and everything. I was worried for a while now that I wouldn't be able to edit it because there's specific things that you have to do with 360 video to make it uploadable to YouTube and to where you can view it in 360. One thing that I was having trouble with, uh, you have to stitch it all together uh, and with my specific camera, the LG 360 cam, it does it on the app itself. Like right now I'm watching the video this may be weird, but I'm going to get real close so you can see it. But I'm watching the, the feed from the video just to keep an eye on the time. But it stitches it all together in the app, and I just send it to the MacBook, and then I go to editing. So it's just, it's really cool how, I, how you just learn new things with 360 video because it's it's still a camera so you still get to edit it like all other footage but it's just a little bit different because it's really wide and stretched out when you're editing it and you have to take it into a special program for YouTube to put in some metadata to make it 360 which is really cool it's amazing how seamless it is to just drop it in and then it uploads just fine so it's pretty 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 crazy if you ask me I'd like to think like I said I'd like to think it would be the future of video I know there's a lot of people that are getting into the HTC Vive and the Google Cardboard or any other the Samsung VR all this VR stuff is just crazy and 360 video is gonna help out a lot with that I'd like to get a specific VR headset and play VR games because same thing with VR to gaming 360 video to video is just it's a step in the right direction of what can happen in movies and it's just crazy I can't wait to see what happens to the movies that are shot in 3d and you have to wear VR headsets which Pretty unbelievable, if you ask me, how the world is changing for VR, and 360 video is the next best thing. So if you turn around right now, while I drink my Mountain Dew from Arby's, I'm going to put a video there, probably on the wall, right about now. So you can watch that. I'm, I'm actually 
No, I can't do that. I'll figure something out. And we'll see what I put up there. But the cool thing with the 360 video is you can have video over top of it. So it looks like it's floating in midair. And it's pretty cool. On the computer, I've not watched... Actually, let me do that right now. Let me go to my YouTube channel. You're seeing this live. I'm going to go to my YouTube channel and I'm going to see what the 360 video looks like at the moment on the computer because, okay, so it looks like what it looks like when I'm editing. So it's pretty cool because if you look at it in your browser, it just looks really stretched, but on your phone it looks really zoomed in and it's crazy. That's pretty cool. And the weird thing at the moment with 360 video is it's not very high quality. Like this camera right now shooting in 2K, which is above 1080, so it would be a really crisp picture. But when you get into the 360 and it's stretching it all out and spreading it apart, it doesn't make it as high quality. It's a really high quality image, but it being really stretched out is just a little a little bit different than a regular camera. But I hope you guys like the 360 video because I'm really excited to shoot with it and edit with it and play with it and see what all I can do with the 360 video. Like I said, this is being pre-recorded. Um, today's May, or yeah, May 28th. So this will probably be out in June, maybe July. So I hope that I've been shooting our Sunday services and our Wednesday night services in 360 so you can see them on the channel. I keep saying I don't want to bombard you with 360 video, but it's just so cool that I want to shoot with it all the time. But I do have to get back to my roots with my DSLR camera. Like right now, if you look down, you may be able to see the tripod there. I wanted to shoot with this camera just when I talked about it because it's kind of cool. And so you can see the lights and everything. And this is my new setup. I'm sure I've talked about it previously, but this is my new setup here. I've got the green screen behind me, so when I'm playing games or something, I can have it right there. I may, I may just do them like this. I may do more mat talks sitting down at my desk, or I may stand up. Who knows? Because if I stand up, let me stand up real quick so I can get a live view. If I stand up, I've still got good enough room. Yeah, I'll have enough room. It's just cool because I, I made it smaller because I moved the room around. You may be able to see the bed over there. You actually do. I can see it in the, in the feed there. You can see the bed over there. And I moved some, some things around because I had a really tiny desk in the corner over there that I couldn't do much with and this will allow me to do a lot more. So let me get back in my chair. <laughs> but I could talk about 360 video for hours. <laughs> so I want to thank you all for watching this episode of Matt Talks. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you're liking the 360 video because I know I am. So you have a great day. See you later.